23 ABC's Veronica Acosta sat down with the child's father who's behind bars tonight to hear his side of what happened. Veronica. Jessica, three year old Adrian Myers was rushed to the hospital after he was attacked by their family pet. His eight month old sister was taken by Child Protective Services and his mom and dad. Well, they were arrested for felony child endangerment. Medical aid's en route for a three year old juvenile that the RP advised was mauled by their own dog. It was a call for service Wednesday that landed two parents in jail. The Kern County Sheriff's Office says around 3.30, deputies responded to North Edwards near Rosemond. Animal control is also being advised there's unknown extent of injuries. Three-year-old Adrian Myers attacked by their family pet. She had snipped at my son once before because he was teasing her, so I said, no, she can't stay in the house anymore. Tonight, his father speaking out from jail about what happened. He says his fiance and Adrian's mom was inside as it all unfolded. She fell asleep and wasn't paying attention, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't home. Alvy, the boy's father, says Adrian made his way outside of the family's home unattended. From what the mother told me, the, uh, he closed the window and closed her door and climbed out the window. A neighbor eventually coming to the boy's rescue. Child Protective Services took the couple's eighth-month-old child from the home after the living conditions, which police described as filthy, hazardous, and not suitable for children. But Alvy says he's sticking by his fiancé's side, despite what happened. No, I'm not mad at her. I mean, stuff happens. You know, kids get hurt. It's, it's on the parents. You know, I take responsibility. Taking responsibility and hoping for the best when it comes to his toddler. It's if they give me Adrian back, so we'll find out. Now, Kern County Animal Control did take that dog. We did reach out to them to try to find out what happened to the dog. However, we have not heard back. And as of for the parents, they are expected to be in court tomorrow at 9 a.m. Live in Central Bakersfield, Veronica Costa 23, ABC News.